A year ago, the beautification program received permission from the board of directors to paint a mural in Long Island Village. That was a continuation of a vision that the committee had to keep enhancing our outdoor paradise and to keep our outdoors looking very nice. Um, with that said, we looked at each other and said, okay, we have permission to paint a mural, now what? So we started doing a lot of research. We actually talked to an artist that uh, did the mural at the Sea Turtle Inc. We consulted with a lot of other mural experts, and we determined that we had to set some parameters. So our parameters were, one, none of us had ever painted a mural before, so we had no mural experience. Two, we had time constraints. We're all retired. We want part-time activities. We don't really want to spend 40 hours a week for several weeks to paint a mural. We wanted it to be completed in a season, not to last all year or two years. And the fourth parameter was we wanted the only cost to the village would be materials, no other cost. So again, we went uh, searching and we selected artwork from an artist in Israel and his name is Morty Levi. Morty creates art using what they call a low poly design. And that's a design that takes all sorts of such sizes of triangles and puts them together to make a 3D effect of an object. So that met our parameters. And he met the very last parameter because he donated that artwork for us Woo! to do the mural. Nice. The beautification committee began the project as a teamwork, and, the, and it was under the direction of Gare Farrell, right here, and Byron Ives, right here. Byron enhanced the original design by adding colors that reflected more of our personality here at Long Island Village, and enhanced those colors by showing our beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Gail did meticulous work and research to find paint that would match the many colors that the project entailed. Yay, Gail! <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, we started out with our design was about the size of a, but would fit on a computer screen. We could blow it up to about 11 by 17, and we needed it this size. Yep. So we have a slideshow to kind of show you that process, but what we ended up doing is Mike Farrell took that original artwork and transcribed all the uh, needed pieces into CAD, which is computer-aided design, so we could have it printed <clears throat> and enlarged to the size we needed. And the Long Island Village architect uh, firm for our infrastructure, they printed off the blueprints at the size we needed at no cost. Wow. So at this time, I just want to express that I am very grateful for the committee members their vision, their enthusiasm, their inspiration, and dedication to, to bring a work of art as a first project to art in our park. Yay. 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 Would Mike or Gail or Byron like to say anything? Byron? <laughs> I definitely paint better than I speak, but bear with me, please. Just have a few people to thank and give some credit to. First of all, I'm very happy and honored to have my son and daughter, Ross and Lauren, here with us. Yay! They're a couple of the most fun-loving and sweet people you'll, you'll ever meet, and I'm not even biased. Okay, this is kind of a, if it weren't for so-and-so, I don't know where we'd be. If it weren't for so-and-so, I don't know where we'd be with this project. First of all, if it weren't for Sally, and she may deny it, but I'm pretty sure this whole mural idea was hers, and she was the main catalyst for getting this off the ground and on the wall. She kept us all well organized and focused and moving toward figuring out this mural business. None of this would have happened if not for Sally. Thank you so much.
if it hadn't been for John, John knows a lot about a lot of stuff, and he knows a tremendous amount about building materials and construction. His expertise brought us these billboard canvases, sealing and protecting the edges against weather, and the methods to mount this mural in a way that ensures maximum weather resistance. This is not even to mention the lighting and the picture frame. Huge thanks to John and appreciation for you, John. If it hadn't been for Shirley, she's, such a nice man. she's always denied being artistic. She says that when it comes to being artistic, she draws a blank. Not true. Not true. Little dad joke there. Sorry, but the truth be known, Shirley made many on-the-spot and spot-on artistic recommendations and suggestions and brought a ton of logic and reason to every meeting. She is a problem solver extraordinaire, which really helped us, and I cannot thank her enough. Thank you. If it hadn't been for Mike Farrell, Mike can do anything he puts his mind to, and he is a CAD master. CAD, which for this mural and many other things, he is extremely proficient. Without Mike, I seriously don't know where we'd be now. We tried, as Sally said, using a projector outside, casting all these crazy triangles on the wall, but the wind made them shimmy and shake, and tracing the lines proved impossible. Mike, though, figured out how to effectively get Dolly's line drawing from a PC screen onto these mural boards. He didn't paint, but what he did allowed us to paint, and we are in his debt for all he has done and is doing for us. Yay. Thank you, Mike. Yay. If it weren't for Gail, I really don't know where we'd be. I think of Gail as a supreme mixologist. I'm not talking about being a bartender. I'm talking about an incredible talent mixing paint colors to achieve a color over and over again. She painstakingly mixed and prepared a ton of small containers of various colors and labeled them all so that, in a large part, this was kind of a paint-by-numbers kit. <laughs> and I also know Gail to be a precise and exacting artist, and she has displayed that talent right here. These people all deserve tremendous praise, and it has been my pleasure and honor working with them. My hat is off to them. Um, once again, thank you all for coming out and spending with this. We hope you come back to the pavilion and have wine and cookies, and we do have a little slideshow that will just kind of keep running um, on the evening. Hope it gets a little dark so we can see the projector. And now, can we have a drum roll, please? I would like to introduce Dolly to Long Island Village. But before we introduce Dolly <laughs> to Long Island Village, I just have a couple of things to say. When Sally asked Byron and I if we would paint the mural, my first reaction was, how? The largest painting I'd ever done was probably 20 inches tall, and we're talking 12 feet long by 6 feet wide. But Sally believed in us. She believed that we could do it. She gave us support. And because of her belief in us as artists, she gave us the confidence to stretch our artistic wings and fly to a new height, which is the creation of Dolly their mural. So we would like Sally to have the honor of unveiling Dolly to the community.
<laughs> Can you get that one piece of tape down? Oh, yeah. How'd we miss that? <laughs> He did the design of it, and then we superimposed the color flow, because we just did a great all